I'm Mark. I'm Justin. And we're My Loving Tiger. We started this band 17 years ago. Now we're back. And on a mission to revisit, re-record, and re-release every song we've ever written. So come and join us. Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to take a look at recording the bass. That's right. Neither one of us is a bass player, but Mark plays all the bass on this album. I don't play the bass at all. This time I'm doing all the bass. That's right. We write the bass parts. We just write the bass parts to fit the song. We go section by section. We'll go what bass part fits the best for this verse. And then we'll write that bass part and then we'll record it. And that's uh, how we work. The bass is really trying to play a functional role because like Justin says, we're not bass players. So no. I don't have any ego. No. Oh, this bass has to be my personality. It's really right. just, is this moving the song forwards? Is this fitting with the vocal? Is mm -hmm. this fitting with the drum part? So a lot of our discussion is around the role of the bass in the song. Right. Is it supporting the other parts? Complimentary bass. Oh, yeah, the bass, you look great. Yeah. And if we have to change parts or mute parts or get rid of parts, nobody's offended because neither one of us Where's that? That's my part. plays bass. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. When we play the bass, we play the bass with a pick, uh, yes. which I know offends some bass players, but mm -hmm. that's just the tone that we think fits these songs the best. And I'm playing a really dumpy parts caster on this one, because mm -hmm. again, like that's just of the basses that we had, that's the one that fit this record Sound the best. best. Yeah, And this is the one that just had the right tone for this record. Because um, it just has one knob. Has no knobs. Oh, it has no knobs. It has no knobs. Well, it sounds the best because it has no knobs. <laughs> I know. I wired it pickup to jack. There's no, you can't turn the volume down. You can't, there's no tone. <laughs> there's no tone. There's no tone. The bass has no tone. The bass has no tone. No. And then when we record the bass, like you mentioned, we do each part as its own part. Mm -hmm. And we don't string them all together and try to play it as like an entire composition. We drill no, right section in, by section. section by section. And then we also, when we record the bass, we split the signal. Mm -hmm. So you have a dirty bass and a clean bass recorded at the same time. You know, that's right, because then we can control the tone of the bass. We can turn the clean up, turn the distorted up, whichever sort of sound we want. And for each section, we can change the sound of the bass to lean in either direction. It gives right. us more control over the overall sound of the bass. So when we record the bass, we will do all of the time of the verse up here. So we'll do the verse one, the verse two, the verse three, and so on, and then we'll start over and do all the pre-chorus, and we'll do all those, and then we'll start over and do all the chorus, and we'll do all those. Listening to us play the bass, it seems jumbled, but then when we put it all together, it plays in the right order. Right, it plays the entire song, but we cut everything up and record everything in sections, just so you stay in the flow and you remember the part. Focusing on the details of Yeah, the focus on the details, that really helps move the song along and yeah. get better takes. Also, we go for the final take. We don't collect up a bunch of takes and then say, oh, we'll just oh this is the later. best take. Yeah, no, no, it's... no, we always try and play the final take and always try and get the best take. And when you get that best take, we say, okay, moving on, next part. Right. When you're listening to the video, you'll hear what we hear in the room. Right? You'll hear the raw audio that's just coming out of the speakers in the recording studio. That annoying click sound and the beeping. We hear that too. We hear that too. And it runs through the whole video. Obviously, it's not in the final mix of the song. It's just to keep time. But the click track helps us measure time better as opposed to just feeling it. Yeah, in the room you hear the click track, you hear the drums, you hear the scratch guitars. The click track just helps you keep in time with all of that and keep everything glued together and cohesive. Right. Well, let's take a look at the bass. Congressman, cool? Yep. So the first one's dirty. Dirty bass. Clean bass. There we are. Where do you want to start? Yeah, just right there at the top, I think. Eight clicks. Feels like three. One, two, three, four. Oh, what the? Why'd you count to three? I don't know. You want just four? Yeah, just do one, two, three, four. Here we go. Instead of going, because I'm just holding the E. You want to do the, my double, question the is, double hit? Yeah, should I double? Here it comes. Bing, bam. You see what I'm saying? Oh. Should I? No, I don't think anyone plays in that hole, because you go, it goes, bam, bam. Yeah, should it, bam, bam. I don't know, that might be weird. You should hit here. It should yeah. go, doom, 
Bing, bing. Yeah, that's what I'm asking about. Should yeah. I? Yeah. Doom, bing, bing. Yep. 100%. That's exactly what I was asking about. Because that kicks there, yep. Right. Again? Here we go. No. <laughs> I know. I'll just do the walk down. Yeah, that's fine. All right. All right, save. Do you know so what you're what? doing on the end? No. Uh. <laughs> it ends on the... Yeah. Ready? Uh, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, I liked when you went. Dun, 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 dun. That was cool. So we should do it again. Yeah, let's get four clicks and. Dun, 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 dun. Here we go. Here we go. Pre-chorus part. Is that where you want to go next? Chorus. Pre-chorus. Pre-chorus. Listen to the two options. What are you going to do when you get to the chorus, though? Yeah, I don't think you've ever done that before. I've never heard that before. I'm oh. innovating. <laughs> Let's see. Why don't you just do it that way the first time through, and then the second time through do it the regular way, and yeah. then we can just pick later. Okay. Here we go. Oh my gosh, how, now, how do I feel it? <laughs> bing, bing, three. Here we go. I had it and I lost it. So do you like that little... Well, yeah, why not? I mean, if you do it the first time, also you're not going to get it the second time right, because the, the drums cut out. Yep. Oh, you don't want me to get... You want a bass, a little bass solo no, in no, the hole? No, no, I don't. I actually do not. All right, so same thing again. Whoop, my pick got slippery. I'm ready. <laughs> the drums different. I thought I went da, 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 da. That must be the second time. I guess so. It happens again. It happens again, 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 right? There's the bo, 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 bo. All right. So I'll punch you in. Yep. Does that, that doesn't happen again. No, no, now, now it's the actual real <laughs> chorus. Or we can do you got the bridge. bridge. Or chorus. Should we do the bridge? It's up to you. Let's do the bridge. So the bridge is just. Should it be. Kind of like make it more of like a. That makes it more of like a. Do you know what I mean? Yep. Well, you got to think to get the. Because the dark goes. Wah, 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 wah. Yeah. So just keep it simple. Yep. So just hold it. Here we go. Good 
later. It chokes, but we can do you want to listen. Yeah, listen, because this was one of the questions is like how this envelope should feel. Mm -hmm. The thing is, you can't fine tune that case. like note length piece very easily. Right. Yeah. Because it should be da na 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 da na da na. And little, little chimes, cowbells. Always with the cowbell. That's it. Just crushed the bridge. Professional bass player. Now becomes now the becomes Everest. The chorus. Yeah. What is this? I don't really remember. Uh, it walks. Yeah, I have it in my head, but okay. Goes do do. So. Good. Up. Right. <laughs> what happened? Hey, what happened? <clears throat> it's the bridge because oh. I started on the second chorus on accident. Do you want to play the, the ring out note? Yep. Four clicks. Yep. Four Magic. Oh, we forgot to play bass for the guitar solo. Oh. Okay, fine. Which is good the, thing we're here. Okay, let's do it. First, I can't. I was like, I know there's another verse, but yeah. it's the guitar solo. Here we go. It's quiet, but we can just turn it yep. up. All right, so there's our miscellaneous. This is the chorus. Verse. There's only two choruses in this song. Ready? Yep. Four clicks? Yep. There we go. See what happened there? Look what happened. I played it. My finger was resting there. I like getting... Should I play it again? No, I think it's fine. It's just funny. Just that last note went pick, click. I have to mute those strings as they jingle jangle. Four and then the note. Yep. Ready? Here we go. Yep. Is that it? You made it. Every part was filled. Okay, we're done. That's it. Got it. Congress Mace, over. Bam. So that was bass. If you have any questions about how we recorded bass, or if you'd like to give us some feedback on hearing the click track for 15 minutes. It's <laughs> too much. It's too much. I know, it just goes <laughs> Okay. So head over to YouTube or Spotify and listen to the final version of Write Your Local Congressman. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. Also, don't forget to follow us on all socials. See you in the next video when we tackle guitars.